What's up, Pioneer fans? I'm Max here, and this is your first episode of Get to Know Your Pioneers. Today I'm here with men's basketball forward Cameron Brady. Cam, thanks for taking some time to be with us. You're welcome. You're, uh, you're, you came here from uh, Salt Lake City, Utah. Mm -hmm. Kansas is uh, it's quite a ways away. I mean, what, what brought you here? Uh, primarily what brought me here is basketball, uh, Coach Rocky, Coach Nate. Um, I've always wanted to play basketball in college throughout my life ever since I started playing and um, it was a goal that I'd worked for and Coach Rocky, Coach Nate gave me the opportunity to come here so that's what brought me out here. So what a lot of people don't know about you is that you are the only married member of your basketball team yep. so are you, are you like the relationship advice guy? Like what, is, what has that made you? Um, I don't know what it's made me. Uh, we have a lot of jokes that come around, you know, everybody calling me like Papa Cam or uh, oh. <laughs> the, I'm like the dad of the team, but um, yeah, we have some, it makes for some good conversations and some good times. Sometimes, well I hope if they're joking with you that you're throwing it right back their way though, right? Oh yeah, a little bit. Yeah. What's up? We're here at the main court in the Cook Center for the Pioneers men's and women's basketball team. But I'm here again, Cameron Brady, forward, the Pioneers. Uh, so we're going to play a game, just seven. The only thing is that I'm going to start, it's ones and twos, but I'm going to start with six. Because I think it's only fair because I'm not a tall boy like you. So uh, you ready? Yeah, let's get to it. Let's go. You're a kinesiology major. Yeah. Um, you're a sophomore as well. I mean, what are you thinking about doing? Are you trying to go on to more school? Like, what do you think about doing with, with a kinesiology degree? Yeah, um, I'm planning on going into graduate school. Right now, I'm focused on physician assistant studies um, or possibly med, med school. Oh. But uh, we'll see how it turns and, and kind of where life takes us. I've heard from some of your teammates through the grapevine that you're uh, you do some drawing, some freehand. Is this true? A little bit, yeah. A little bit. Yep. So modest. I like to. I draw. I started drawing when I was pretty young. Uh, both my sister. I have actually two sisters that are pretty artistic, and um, we used to just spend a lot of time drawing and hanging out, doing stuff like that, and it's kind of carried over. And I like to do it on my free time. My chill time. I'm not stressed out with school. Whatnot. So are you just like a freehand guy? Are you painting? What's your what's your area, <clears throat> drawing wise? Um, mostly I don't do a lot of painting. Paintings turn out really bad. So do faces. I can make great looking people look really bad, really ugly. Oh, um, I'll keep that in mind. I'll keep that. In so mind. you don't want me to draw you, but um, yeah, mostly landscape, uh, black and white shading, uh, not too much of the colorful stuff yet. So score is currently 6-3. Um, I've put up a bunch of bad shots so far. I haven't just bad shots. I've been dunked on. Um, I'm determined. I'm gonna win this thing.
so you served a uh, mission trip for the Church of Jesus Christ in Brazil before you came out here to play college basketball. I did. So you were there from 18 to 20, my guy? Uh, yep, 18 to 20. So did you have to learn Portuguese? Like, how did you adjust to, you know, coming from Salt Lake City, you know, American culture, to just immerse yourself fully in Brazil? Uh, that was a pretty good adjustment. Uh, it was hard the first three or four months. I didn't really uh, speak a whole lot. I did a lot of listening. Um, helped me to learn a little bit of patience. Um, but being in a whole new culture, new lifestyle, that was stressful at times, but it also helped me to learn to uh, get to know people and to understand people where they're coming from. I was out of place there, so I really had to learn the language, learn how to communicate with people, and um, overall it was a pretty big blessing. One of my teammates is from Brazil as well. We have a good time. kind of think it's helped us to bond a little bit, being able to talk to each other in Portuguese and have a little bit of understanding of that uh, not that many people are able to do. Uh, just because of our experiences. Yeah. So. yeah, so Pedro, as you mentioned, mm -hmm. came is from Brazil, grew up in Brazil. Yeah. And then, you know, came out here to, came to the States to play college basketball. Uh, do you guys know, speak in Portuguese on the court, you know, in practice or in games, like, you know, and use it to your advantage, you know? Yeah, we do. Times. Whenever we can, we're speaking Portuguese all the time, anytime. Um, some of our teammates think we're just messing around. Uh, but yeah, I would think so. They'll come over in the hutter around us that just because they want to listen, but um, yeah, we do. We Whenever we're on the court, we'll say a thing here or there, um, but mostly off the court uh, during practices. Yeah. So Cam just hit two quick shots. It's six six right now. Um, it's game point. But I think I'm getting it in your head though. I've missed all my shots. So I have a feeling I'm just gonna win anyway, you know, even though you just scored six straight points on me. I just have a feeling I'm gonna win. Let's go. I apologize to the Pioneer community. I've let everyone down by losing to this monster of a six foot seven man. It happens. It happens, I guess, but we'll play. I'll beat someone at some point. You just wait. Cam, appreciate you uh, playing some ball. I know, I know it was a tough matchup. I know my defense was just really good, so. Appreciate it. Fun it. game. Fun game? Yeah. I bet you'll get someone eventually. No, see, look, this is. Yeah. See, he just beat me. He just scored seven straight points, and this is how kind he is. I think he knows a good guy. Um, appreciate you uh, playing. Appreciate you talking to me. Letting the Pioneer fans know who you are. Good luck this season. Thank you. All right.